blessed a day beautiful people i am elie and welcome to my channel <music> Of your life, God loves you. Today, main verse. For God so loved the world that He gave His only Son, that whosoever believes in Him should not perish but have eternal life. I love you, Lord, and I lift my voice to worship you. So rejoice, take joy, my King, in what you hear, let it be a sweet, sweet sound to your ears. Have you ever asked yourself, why I am such a burden or failure to my parents or my friends. Why I feel like no one loves me. You have to admit that we are quite negative. And thinking like that will lead us to depression and sadness. But today, I am here to tell you that you are loved. Yes, you are. You are loved by the creator of the universe. Jesus loves you. No matter what other people say, God loves you. No matter what other people say, you are loved by God. This topic is connected to the previous one. When we close our eyes and ears and our heart, we cannot see how much God loves us. I'm telling you this because I've experienced that. The feeling of being unloved. In the past, I closed my eyes and I was mentally tired to please everyone. I closed my ears and I was saying to myself, I am not loved. No one cares for me. No one loves me. I've come to the point in my life where I was being sure about that. But then, in that particular situation, God was telling me, No! That's not true! I am here! Elizabeth, I love you! I really, really love you. God opened my eyes and ears and my heart. And when I saw and heard Him saying that, I was speechless. His love indeed was so overwhelming. My point is, when you close your heart to God, you can see how much love God is pouring into your life. You are indeed loved. And His love is unfailing. Like... The Bible verse says, Jeremiah 31, 3, I have loved you with an everlasting love. Therefore, I have continued my faithfulness to you. And also in Psalm 63, 3, Your unfailing love is better than life itself. How I praise you. This is one of my favorite verses. How I am sure that God loves us. The answer is simple. John 3, 16 our main verse let's make this verse more personal for god so loved me and you that he gave his only son that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life god would never give such a precious life the life of his son jesus if he didn't love us jesus loves us so much that he literally died for us for me and you. He took the price for your sin. And like it is written in the Bible, Romans 5, 8. But God showed His great love for us by sending Christ to die for us while we were still sinners. So, if you think that God does not love you, trust me, He saw the worst of you, but still He loves you. Normally, when other people saw the worst of you, they normally leave you. But God is love. And when God says that He loves you, He really meant Even when we ignore God, He loves us. Even when we don't prioritize Him, He loves us. 
even if we still continue to commit sins after sins, He still loves us. Even when we think that we don't deserve God's love, it does not change the way He feels about us. God loves us. 1 John chapter 4, verse 16 And so we know and rely on the love God has for us. God is love. Whoever lives in love lives in God and God in them. So, God wants us to live a life full of His love. And I recently read a beautiful poem and I love this sentence. You never promise us a perfect life, but only a perfect love by Ralph P. Kinosis. I will put the link of the whole poem down in the description box. Romans chapter 8 verse 38 For I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither heights nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. God wants us to be sure of His love. Nothing can separate us from His love. You just need to 100% believe that God loves you. And trust me, God will open your heart and will make you see how greatly He loves you. In 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 7, Cast all of your anxiety on Him because He cares for you. If you have these kind of thoughts like, I am not loved, I don't deserve love, this is my advice for you. Just run to Jesus. He deeply cares for you because He loves you. God is always available and He is waiting for you with open arms. I can even count how many times I said that God loves you. But this is my message for you and I want you to remember these three words whenever you are sad or you feel down. God loves you. You are not loved because you deserve it. You are not loved because you are good. You are loved because you are His creation. You are loved because He saw your heart. You are loved because God is love. But wait, guys, why it is so hard to accept and abide in His love? Why are we so stubborn? Why are we so blinded by negative things? Why it is so hard to believe that God truly loves us and cares for us? I don't understand why it is so hard to believe that our Creator, the Creator of all universe, loves me and you. I am not perfect. There are few people who does not like me, but I don't care. Because I know that God loves me, and that's all I need. I don't need anything else but God's love. I know and I am sure that He loves me. Even when I don't see it, but I can feel it. I feel loved. I am loved. God cares for me and loves me. And as I conclude, don't let your negative mind take control of your heart. Accept God into your heart and you will see how overflowing His love is. We are in the last days. Jesus is coming soon. It's time. Repent and run to Jesus. He is waiting for you patiently because He wants to spend eternity with you. God is love. God loves you. Nothing, like nothing, can separate us from the love of God. Guys, I accept prayer requests. Just DM me on my Instagram and I will pray for you. Over the mountains and the sea, your river runs with love for me. And I will open up my heart and let the healer set me free. I'm happy to be in the truth and I will daily lift my hands. For I will always sing of when your love came down. I could sing of your love forever I could sing of your love forever I could sing of your love forever I 
could sing of your love forever. Pray more, love more, Jesus more in your life. May God bless you! Guys, like and subscribe!